It's time for the Live from the Cross News with your hosts, Liz Brandon and Lincoln Fryman. Good evening and welcome to Live from the Cross News. I'm Liz Brandon. And I'm Lincoln Fryman. And these are tonight's top stories. Tax season is upon us, and with that in mind, the Live from the Cross News Finance Desk has this helpful tip for your filing this year. Just don't do it. <laughs> Who cares? Today is Groundhog's Day, and you know what that means. If Punxsutawney Phil sees a shadow, six more countries will hate America. <laughs> the Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show has added four new breeds to this year's competition. Apparently last year's after party got... <laughs> Services company launched a series of satellites into space as well as food for the International Space Station. Oh, it's Which right was... there! What? We are commandeering this broadcast in the name of the FES! The FES? The hell is yeah. the FES? The Flat Earth Society! <laughs> yes! We are here to with an upset an important message to the people not around the globe, but a flat the flat. <laughs> Our message is simple. The Earth isn't round anymore. Lies! Lies! Yes, as a matter of fact, we are no longer calling Earth, Earth. We are, because it propagates the hoax of a celestial sphere, we are now calling the flat Earth, planet Flatus. Planet Flatus? It's, you know, it's got a ring to it. Okay, but can you prove it? Of course! Take this example. Lies! This sphere of deceit is the framework for which they have continuously pumped up your false paradigm into your weak minds, using treachery in the form of calculation. Lies! And evidence! More lies! It's the orb of subterfuge. They have taken the idea, this idea, and fucked it! Look at the bottom! It clearly says, made in China! <laughs> China's made in the world. Checkmate roundies. Lies! <laughs> Who wants us to think the world is round? Th them! They! Those! Over there! Yes, the third person pronouns of heliocentric propaganda. Yeah, see, uh, the proof is right in front of you. Time goes around the clock, but guess what? A clock is flat! In boxing, they go 12 rounds, only guess what? The ring is flat! King Arthur's Knights set around a round table! The table is flat! The song you spin me right round! The record are flat! You spin me right flat! <laughs> Fraud that fuels this globe of Earth's conspiracy! So in this, the, the North Pole is... In the middle of planet Flatus? I mean, it's the only way Santa could possibly visit all the homes in a single night. Santa's belly is flat! <laughs> Simple, uh, he had a lazy eye, you know, he just kept telling his crew, go left, go straight, go straight, go straight, go the yeah. eye, and then he just went in one bam big circle. Think of it, the world's a giant pizzazz pizza oven, and we are the pepperonis of truth. No sausages! <laughs> the globe, if the globe was spinning at 1,000 miles per hour, we'd fly off like we were on a roller coaster at Six Flags. We are the wet dream of Sir Isaac Newton! First law! Okay, but Sir Isaac Newton discovered gravity. You can't prove gravity exists, which proves that it doesn't exist. Lies! Mic drop. Uh, okay, just speaking of history... Uh, hey, where'd the dinosaurs go? They were killed by an asteroid. Everybody knows that. Okay, now you're finally making some sense. Yep, yep, so here's what happened. So you see the dinosaur right there, and what happened was the asteroid came in, hit flat Earth, and then just... Yup, really, right off, right off there. Science. <laughs> okay, so now that you've subjected us to what is honestly a low point for this show, yeah. <laughs> for live from across news, do you really think your movement's going to gain traction? Oh, we're Grogan numbers as we speak. For starters, retired British cricket player Freddie Flintoff has joined our cause. Cricket is like baseball, except the bat is flat. <laughs> 2009 social media person. 
personality and current white supremacist Tila Tequila. Large breasts and pants. Slack personality. <laughs> and our most powerful ally, professional basketball player Kyrie Irving, or as it is called now, Flatskitball. Huh? He will flatten the basketball with his lightning fast crossover. And he will penetrate the lane to land some nasty dunks on the bitch ass rounder defense. He has practiced flatskitball so much, people will be forced to listen to his scientific theories. Let's get a round of, I'm sorry, a flat of applause for the Flat Earth Society. Lies! 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 We should think about locking that door. <laughs> Anyways, back to the serious news. Disgraced. <laughs> Disgraced doctor Larry Nasser has been sentenced to 175 years in prison over multiple yeah. counts of sexual yeah. abuse against members of the U.S. women's gymnastics team. Without knowing any details of the case, House Speaker Paul Ryan said he's always happy to hear about people not being able to see their doctor anymore. <laughs> Scientists at NASA have confirmed that it will not strike the Earth, while a group of psychologists have confirmed that too many of you are disappointed by that fact. <laughs> former boxing champion George Foreman has challenged former action star Steven Seagal to a 10-round boxing match because... America. <laughs> the winner, of course, is set to be our next president. <laughs> Ingvar Kamprad, the founder of furniture retail company IKEA, recently passed away at the age of 91. Details aren't clear on the cause of death, but the police are slowly piecing it together. <laughs> Funeral services will be held as soon as his family and friends assemble his casket. There's going to be meatballs in the um, So, keen-eared listeners may have caught that the first letter of every word in tonight's newscast has spelled a secret message for one member of the audience in particular. Sorry if that makes us a certainly unusual news team. <laughs> There's a new startup in India that will deliver condoms within 30 minutes. Or as Lincoln calls it, 29 minutes too late. <laughs> I appreciate you rounding up to the next minute. <laughs> Lacrosse tourism continues its upswing over the last four years, adding on to and growing existing festivals each year. Here with more on Lacrosse's growing festival scene are our festival correspondents and members of Oktoberfest royalty, Solvig and Teresa. Oh, yes, I know! I know! I know! I know! So good to see I know! Solveig, uh, Teresa, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, oh thank, thank you, you so much for having us. Oh, <laughs> so wonderful to be here. Yeah, and the spoofy spoof journalism show. Yes. Yeah, the spoofs and the cackles. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's good to have you both here on our completely legitimate journalism Very. show. Um, but before we talk about festivals, what have you both been up to lately? Oh, so many things. So many things, Mr. Brownschwager. Oh, we have been enjoying the lacrosse's wonderful knock Yes, we go so many places for the drinkers, oh, it's a good time. Yeah, like the library. It's a hell. Bruder's bar. An alley date with a lone man in a trench coat with an ugly but still inviting two see two screen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, that does sound rad, but I'm kind of surprised that you picked those over, like, the, the Stein House. Have you guys ever been there? Oh, oh it's a it's no, fuck that place. <laughs> okay, well, let's talk festivals. I, I think we can guess what your favorite one is, but uh, what else can we look forward to here at Macross? Oh, oh, so many things to so expect. So you many. wouldn't even believe. Uh, there's the Irish Festival. Oh, River Fest. Oh, is it beer fighting and cheesy cheese fest? A party in someone's basement where each person tickles each other with koosh balls? Yeah. Koosh, <laughs> koosh, <laughs> is my favorite one. Okay, this one's notwithstanding, that sounds awesome. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, I think we would be remiss if we didn't have you sing at least 
one traditional Oktoberfest song for it. Would, oh. would the two of you be so kind? Oh. Yeah, yeah. So it's me. Uh, we will do one of our childhood favorites. Oh, yes, okay. <laughs> Old man in the church, he sits there patiently. He, he, he. Old man in the church, he sits there patiently. But then one day he figures out that he can poop himself into space. So then he counts down to blast off. Eins, zwei, Try ground control to me. <laughs> Old man in the church, he sits impatiently. Old man in the church, but now he's dead. <laughs> I sincerely hope we lost something in translation. Um, <laughs> but no, like, I guess, no roll at the barrel, no on prose, no anything like that. Oh, uh, no, I know. You're not big fans of Justin Bieber's. Yeah. Still making trees, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah. You know. Something tells me that the police are going to find the real solving in Trace of Buried somewhere. <laughs> yeah, but 